Where did Guys, you find? I just found a chanterelle. It's a beautiful one. Don't brag about it, though, even though we're in Fort Bragg. Well, this is one of the most beautiful chanterelles i found in my life. It's a keeper. This is a red coral mushroom, you guys. The, they look exactly like all the other coral mushrooms, except for one type. I Only this type is red. There are lots of different colors of coral mushrooms. And they look like real coral, but they do break easily. Grandpa is digging. Ooh, jelly from it. Here, look. Jelly. No, we right to jelly. Ooh, a coral mushroom. These look pretty corally. It's the original one, though. Does this look like fossilized water to you? It's not, it's a jelly fungus. It even has a stem right here. And they and they do feel like fossilized water. Um these look like ghosts, this jelly fungus, doesn't it? Boo boo Yeah, pretty much. Um, this is a red coral mushroom right here. They look very cool, just like regular coral mushrooms. And this is one whole one. Oh. <laughs> no! Yeah, there's more. Too excited. I'm too excited. You want to hold it up for the camera? have a few bugs but so far I think we're doing great on the bugs Not many. yeah that's what my grandpa says bye for the night hopefully I don't have to wake you up again <laughs> the season of the prince and the princess and the princess Um, these are called black trumpets. We aren't going to pick them because they're too small. And these are false, all chanterelles over there. Some more falsies over there also. And we, because they are in a trumpet shape and we are not going to pick them. You guys, black trumpets. We struck it rich, I think, today. King Bully, Prince, Black Trumpet, what more can I say? Chantrelle that we didn't film because my dad wasn't there. Wow, that's four apples. And these are very tasty. Second time we found them today, actually. And their Latin name is, um, I forgot. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe we actually found one of these. The stem is good, but I don't think the cap is. Is that cool? Uh -huh. We know. I think the cap might actually be good. Ooh, slimy, huh? But even though it's slimy, that doesn't mean it's not apple. What have you Lucas, been eating, Lucas? Explain to your audience why your lips are purple. My lips are purple. You might think I use lipstick, but no. I was eating huckleberries. Huckleberries is grow from right these bushes. Chantrelles also like to grow with them. Comment, please, if you see any chantrelles in the distance. The prince is very rare. Agaricus Augustus. 
and it's very rare. This is the fourth time I found one, the third time for my grandpa. I'll congratulate him. Please. He has to do all the hard work over there. King the Gearkiss Augustus. Wow. Just like David of Oh my goodness. I really can't believe I'm hoying this right here. Where have you seen this before? Um, Armstrong Woods. And driving back from some random place with a no trespassing sign. Yeah, I know. A lot of mushrooms from yesterday and today. So it's so important for my colleges to do tick checks. Not only because you don't want to have them, also because of Lyme disease. And it's just not fun having Lyme disease either. You'll like feel pain for the rest of your life. Yeah, I do know what happened. My mom's doing a tick check. Right, mom? Yes. And so far, no ticks. Which is a good thing. Most of my colleges actually get ticks because they go in the brush a lot, like me. Um, I found like this stuff in the brush. I know, some big hedgehogs. But it was totally worth it for great dinner. This whole plenty, on the other hand, didn't grow in the brush. But this is a very old king will eat. That's Lexina manzanita right there. And these are two lobster mushrooms, as I talked about earlier this morning. It sometimes hurt when you get tick check, but don't worry. And this is what we thought was a friend's but It's not. It might be a deer mushroom, though. But we aren't taking any risks. Part of being a mycologist is that you have to sometimes take risks. But this is one we will not take a risk on. This one, not this one. We just we know this is apple, so it's not like take a risk on apple mushroom. Yeah, well, it necessarily is because you might think this. For example, this could look like a Boleus edgeless, and let's say there's a Boleus mamoes that is is killing poisonous that looks exactly like this, which is not, which is actually real. I met the Boleus mamoes, and you you mistake it in and then eat it. Bleh. So that's why it's very important to double check your mushrooms and only eat what you're hundred percent sure about. That's a great mycologist. So, That's see ya at the Clinton Park. It's day three, you guys, and first find of the day is a beautiful chanterelle. Beautiful. My grandpa's gonna get his back, so for now, I'm in charge. Talk about what you've been eating. Why you I, no. um, my, like I said yesterday, I was eating huckleberries. So, and we'll forge a little farther with the camera on before we actually officially stop. And I really wonder what's that away. I know, that's the way. Wait, something that might be a Dolisiosis right there? I know. I don't really care about Dolisiosis. Since they're not necessarily delicious. Should I say Deliciosis? Hmm. Is this all in it? Or is it? Yeah, I do. Even my cold just mistaken mushrooms for leaves. First, they told there's a mushroom right there. I do not know what it is, but I read you guys poisonous. I'm 100% sure. We have to look at cat during the afternoon. Um, this, that is the beautifulest mushroom in the world. They're fly earth, in my opinion. And it's deadly poisonous, but one of the fun fact, people used to stomp on them to repel flies. And that, that's all you really need now. Wow. We think we saw something. We're going to investigate it. 
Hi. Um, um, the, the, that's one of the Aboyamnias. That's another right there. And that's a Rusula. Uh, and that's another Aboyamnia. And how many other Amanitas? They have a, a vulva. A vulva. Okay. Yeah. And they have a? A little patch. pointed cap. Patch. And then see these little lines on the edge? Yeah. Those are called striations. Yeah, striations. And between the striations, the, this, and the color, we know it's an. And this is a banana slug right here. I just flipped over. And I'll flip him back. Be nice. Talk about the amnita pachycola. Um, the amnita pachycola is known for its little patch on top right there. And that other amnia over there, I forgot its Latin name. I just, I forgot just right now. And it is, and this is a lactarius, um, a golden lactarius, and they're how poisonous. You, how do you know it's lactarius? Can you show? Because, see, that's milk. It depends on the type of milk, see if they're able to poison this. And I do not like these guys. Guys, we just found some not bug eating pig's ears. Explain bug eating. Bug eating means that they're eaten over by bugs, and and pig's ears are edible. So this is a pretty good find. Show the cow. Mm. Um, they look like tulips, don't they? Yeah, they do. I think I want. Mm -mm. Mom, you hold this one. Make it's sure like you... a bouquet. And it's Dad, you hold this one. My dad's holding the bigger one. I'm Make sure not drop it. And oh, don't. Grandpa, yeah. Grandpa will do that. And I will carry um a littler one like this. So, yep, this is pig deer. We'll do a peep.